Usually when you think of an heiress, you think of a spoiled, privileged, young rich girl who is everything she would ever want. But not so for St. Catherine Drexel. Her parents taught her that their wealth was to be shared with the unfortunate. Early in her life, she was aware of the plight of the Native Americans. So when she inherited her fortune after her parents' death, she established a school for them. During an audience with Pope Leo XIII, she asked for a religious staff to help educate her students, and he suggested she found her own order. So she went to train with the Sisters of Mercy, and in 1891 founded the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament for Indians and colored people. Of the 60 schools she founded, one of the most prominent was Xavier University in New Orleans in 1915. Yeah, her story is an amazing story. Uh, she was canonized a saint by the Pope in 2000, and we'd like to say a lot of Catholic colleges are named uh, uh, after saints, but uh, we have one who founded, a saint founded Xavier. My experience as a student shaped my personal ambitions and ideas for what my role could be in a changing world. My faith guided me to apply the gifts of God had blessed me with to serve others. Again, I'm grateful for my parents and the Sisters of the Holy Family who taught me in elementary and in high school and encouraged me to come to Xavier. I grew up in a small town. Uh, most people think I'm from New Orleans. I love New Orleans, but I was born in Lafayette, Louisiana, uh, God's country. All of us are committed to education. I have been. Uh, my daddy, who, of course, was a barber. My mother and father didn't graduate from high school, but they knew how important education was, and it's as important today as it was when I grew up. Unless the public, and that means 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds, black and whites, invest in educating young people, invest, and I use the word, they are then going to have to spend some of their precious dollars on social programs, welfare programs, unfortunately even uh, in, in incarcerations uh, facilities. And so they've got to have a longer look. As an institution, we have grown stronger in every way, in enrollment, programs of study, campus facilities, the endowment, and in striving ever higher each day. The, together, we've created a strong and a sustainable culture of excellence and achievement grounded in our Catholic values. I, I think the legacy is really going to be uh, what Xavier was able to do over a period of, let's say, a hundred years, from day one to the hundredth year, quality and excellence. Katrina was a big blow to us, uh, and, and part of our commitment to come back, uh, I was fortunate to be back in my own little hometown in Grand Coteau, which is next to Lafayette, and we spent four and a half months, but we committed ourselves, we were coming back in January, and that was a miracle. I, we, we all look back at it now. Uh, about 40 of us all over the country we're working to rebuild, rebuild Xavier, because we got six feet of water everywhere. And uh, I'd say 85% of us had lost our own homes. I had lost mine and everybody else. But we knew that one day 
there were going to be young people looking to come to Xavier, and we wanted to be there. Regrets. I, I had a, <clears throat> I had a front row seat to probably some of the greatest years in uh, this country's history. Uh, I met people I would have never met had I not been the president of the university. And number three, I worked with some of the the, the most loyal and competent people you'd find in any business. It's a commitment, and, and I would say this to young people, I say it to those who are in the profession, you've got to be committed to your career, your job, and people. I, I guess the thing that I learned in, in Lafayette, growing up in a small little, like people call country town, were those values. Respect yourself, others will respect you. Uh, always treat people like you want to be respected. It, it's so fundamental. After nearly 47 years, as I've mentioned, I know that the time has come to take the brightly burning torch turned over to me by the Sisters of the Blessed Sacrament and pass it on to new leadership. It's, it's what we've been able to do in what I've just said. Take uh, Xavier's uh, reputation from day one uh, in uh, graduating and educating young people to serve in critical uh, areas and careers. Pharmacy is one, uh, the sciences that produce the doctors that are now serving, the teachers that uh, populated the schools in New Orleans and in the rest of the country, uh, those students who went to uh, social service work. Uh, I'm, what, what I'm most proud of is that we have increased the number of African Americans, particularly, not to, we haven't excluded anybody, but African Americans in particular, in fields that were not thought about 25, 30 years ago. And I'm very proud that we have risen above our regional, uh, what I would describe, reputation, and now on the national scene. Never missed a beat, and yes, there have been uh, good times and bad times. Katrina was one of those bad times, but we came back, uh, and I and I am proud of the fact that uh, our quote achievements have not dropped percentage-wise from what they were before Katrina, and and it's been an honor and a privilege, and uh, and I'm totally confident as I walk away that the best is yet to come.